Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Owning Authenticity. My name is Carly. It's a pleasure to have you here with me for this peek inside the ultimate guide to self-care. The, the printed books are available in the Etsy shop. The, the eBooks are available where you just download the PDF or if you'd rather have a printed copy. I am also working on figuring out international shipping. So if you're one of my many people who are like around the world, I'm thinking about you and I'm working it out. I got a guinea pig in England who's helping me to figure out the first channels of like, what do you got to do here? Because there's a little bit of hurdles to jump through, but I'm willing to do it because this book, you guys, it came straight from my heart. And as I described yesterday, I'm recording this the day after I recorded the Capricorn New Moon recap. So in that video, I shared about gaining a new member of my spiritual support team, losing my dog. And she, you guys, like she has come on strong in a really cool way. And specifically, it is this that she, which I know, I'll just put it on the screen so you can see it. Um, specifically, this one work, she is like, this is our key she's guiding me I feel like her paws are like inside my hands and she's doing things that are just like wow she's she's helping me to face my fears um and specifically about this book that like what is in there helps people this is what she's like assuring me and that is why in this video there are going to be many preview pages where you're going to get a sample uh, like a decent size sample of like what is actually included as i flip through the different sections um but i also like i draw cards i have a whole pile of them here in front of me um to kind of get a flavor on like what is this energy and what is coming through as i feel this inspiration to create this video at this time and there are there's one card specifically these are from the carolyn meese archetypes deck highly recommend i play with these ones a lot um and the archetype that keeps coming out is prostitute and the other one that came out with it like these two cards came out together is samaritan and i want to read the light attributes of each of them and then the shadow attributes of each of them and wrap that around this conversation and like the heart behind this book and the heart behind this video because the light side of the samaritan is refining your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore and the light side of the prostitute is accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit and the shadows of both of these of the samaritan is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help that you offer and the shadow of the prostitute is places material considerations and security above self-empowerment so for these two cards for me you know at this point i am full-time doing this work this work of being on a spiritual healing self-empowering path like for myself and i love to share i love to i feel like i'm a pretty generous person i like to share what it is that has helped me to feel better and that is truly where the ultimate guide to self-care is even coming from in the first place is my own seven and a half year journey at this point with doing daily self-care and how that has revolutionized my experience on this planet like prior to self-care and i'm going to link a playlist that i have in uh, the description box where i go into depth about like my own personal journey with self-care that's not what's in here um in the book i don't really get into that at all but please just know that like my life was very dark my thoughts often veered towards do i even want to be here and many times 
many, I mean, one is too many, multiple times, I came to the conclusion that like, no, I don't want to be here. And I give you that bit because this world is a really hard place to try to live. So if you have found even a little bit of peace inside of yourself, I am so happy for you. Like (laughs) from the bottom of my heart, like if you've found your way into your own inner peace, like (sighs) I love that for you. And truly my goal with this book, with really any of the things that are in the Etsy shop, but like specifically we're talking about this one, is to give the different pieces of how you would build a bespoke self-care system that is perfectly tailored to you for your needs, for your preferences, like takes you into consideration and you come out the other side with like this sophisticated self-care system that belongs to you. That's what I want for every single person. I want every single person, like the archetype of the hummingbird, like the hummingbird, this is out of the wild unknown spirit animal oracle ish it has a lot of those words if not exactly that and i'll link that one in the description too along with the carolyn meese archetypes deck if you're interested in archetypes like i love it i love asking questions like you know show me the energy right now and then you get this picture and it's like i can i can feel it even more powerfully now because i have the little bit of language and specifics so anyways um the hummingbird archetype is all about being resilient because the hummingbird knows how and where to find nectar, which is to say nourishment or sustenance and basically how to fill your gas tank back up when your gas tank is empty. You know, like when you haven't eaten for a while, you're hungry, you need some food. Like if you know how to feed yourself, if you know how to like take care of your needs, if you're the hummingbird that knows exactly where to go to get your sustenance, like life gets so much easier, so much easier. And that level of ease is legitimately like my heart and what I put into this book and what I am putting into this video because I want everyone to experience that quality of life where you have somebody who is trained and knowledgeable about exactly how to take care of you and they never go away because they're you (laughs) okay like this level of security and like nurturing I wish it for everyone so the ultimate guide to self-care is a thing and we are going to flip through this and look at some of the pages and again I'm going to look at it here and rather than hold it up I will show you any pages that I do stop and look at um but let us resituate I'm not super comfortable there okay there we go that's a little well let us see (laughs) we shall take it day by day um Okay, so the first, I'm going to skip over the table of contents because I'm just going to talk through the different sections that there are, Um, but I do take the table of contents and I am going to show you this page as far as ways to use this book and like what the different sections are meant to be. So if you want to pause the video and read this page, you do that. And that's part of your free preview of the ultimate guide to self-care. But we are going to move on to the first section is the 24 key concepts. And this is where I started because for me, it feels like these are like think of our self-care system as like a house that we're building okay for ourselves to like live in and these key concepts this is like the the footing in the foundation this is like pouring the walls for the basement this is like the the paneling that kind of like the not paneling the framing of like the two by fours that like are the wall the beginning of the wall um these key concepts are those foundational pieces that like not that you can't be successful at just like 
have some techniques and do your self-care but like these are things that are meant to support you in mostly just knowing the value of what it is that you're doing when you invest your time in daily self-care so the first concept that i'm going to show you and i am showing you this first page but like every day is unique this is like such a foundational piece of like it's not going to look the same every single day. Sometimes you're going to feel like this and that means self-care is this. But sometimes you're going to feel like this and that means self-care is this. But sometimes you're going to feel like this and self-care is like this. Like every day is unique because every day we start with how are you feeling today? You know, what are you feeling today? What's coming up in you? What what kind of energy can you feel swirling in your system? And let's go from there as far as like once we know how you're feeling then we know how to take care of you i love these 24 key concepts like it was so fun to get to think about like right like what are all of the different pieces like i'm going to show you this page of like personal sovereignty is key it's key that you be in charge of you and so that little section there um inner authority same thing like it's in it's imperative. It's like critically important that you be in charge of you, that like you not be a yo-yo on anybody else's string, because as, as long as you are, it's impossible to get any real consistency and momentum going with your self-care because it's so easy to think that like other people aren't giving me the time. I just don't have the time. And it's like, right, we, nobody really ever gives us the time to take care of ourselves. We take the time. We make the time. We carve it out. And that inner authority to make it happen because you said so and that that's good enough for you. Like that is such a, again, like a footing, like a foundational piece of like being successful at practicing your self-care long enough to feel what I'm talking about where like you have a bespoke system, a customized self-care system that supports you even through some of the hardest things that you have ever had to face. So next, let's look at the 50 self-care techniques. And gosh, like it was shocking to me. Like I thought when I started making this list that there were going to be like 10, maybe 15 that I could like come up with, you know, that like I use and have used and do use in varying degrees. You know, it's like a recipe. Like today we're going to put one cup of this and tomorrow we're going to put a tablespoon because that's all we need, you know, um, it just depends on the day. But when I started making this list, I got to like 40, like just like it wasn't even anything. And then as I sat there with it, like multiple more came through. And even now, you know, this last week of going through such a hard thing and having, you know, like every day is unique. Like, how are you feeling today, Carly? Well, I feel fucking devastated. Thanks for asking. And there were moments where my self-care in the moment was this. Like I just would, and normally I'm crying really, really hard and I would just pat on my chest and like I can feel the vibration going into my chest. I can feel the vibration on my hand. And like the longer I do it, the more I can feel it. And it just eventually calmed me down. And it started with more like a like a slow pat, like how you would pat a baby, maybe if you're trying to get I don't I don't have any babies, real babies. Um I got fur babies. Um but like it started more slow, but like it felt better to do it faster, so I did it faster and like patting yourself that's not in the book that's not one of the 50 self-care techniques so like i am still you know seven and a half years into it day by day every day being unique i am like organically instinctually meeting myself where i am every single day and sometimes the techniques that i have to use like i have to make them up as i go along because i've never felt this level of like taking my breath away like i couldn't breathe i was crying and just so hurt and by this loss and like the my lungs like felt like they wouldn't do their thing like I was just like holding my breath and the padding like helped me to like keep breathing and eventually like the wave of emotion would pass and 
the padding can stop and the tears stop and then I'm you know like I'm back I'm, I'm like how am I feeling right now you know like it's not even how are you feeling today every day is unique like literally down to the moment like every moment you can be in and out of different feelings and like all of that is valid it's all part of the process of what we're here what we're doing so I got a lot of videos on that in terms of like what even is this life but like right here let's look at these 50 self-care techniques and I'll show you a couple pages um, I'm going to show you this 6 through 11 page where like the cards I start out with that tarot and oracle like I have all of these cards right here because for me it's so clarifying for my emotions I use these cards like they're mirrors you know like for example as I was shuffling one of the decks this is a really beautiful deck I forget the name of it right off the top of my head but I'll put it in the list of decks that I linked below um, but as I was shuffling this deck this card fell out and I believe it's like awakening and integrating energies and it's lemon balm which like just instantly felt like this like soothing idea for my soul of like this balm for all of these changes these huge changes that I've been integrating oh and transitioning yeah absolutely love that so these cards I mean it, d it depends on how you use them I mean I would imagine you can feel good or bad just about anything but like when you ask a question when you set an intention and then you shuffle the cards and that one falls out it's like I set an intention of like wanting to see like my energy right now and then I see that one and it feels like soothing relief to me I use cards like that on a regular basis some of these other ones um cord cutting is one that like I would love to make like just kind of a whole video where I tell my cord cutting processes um Oh, just so powerful in terms of releasing energy which that bottom one of emotional release um I have done a lot of including like in the five minutes before I came on to make this video I had my latest round of sad um over the gaining the loss of my my physical pet and the gaining of my new spiritual support team member um but I freaking like I can't even feel bad about it like even when I'm sad like <laughs> as Dolly left today she's like are you gonna be okay and in my mind I was like it's okay my sad has my happy to keep it company and like it's so true that like even when it hurts so bad like I'm still so grateful for every moment I had with her every every you know ounce of the inspiration and empowerment that she's giving me now I mean I feel like she she served and supported and gave me such beautiful things while she was physical and now she has like even more to give me and specifically about the ultimate guide to self-care she is like obsessed with this thing so I just am like oh my god like honoring her by sharing about this work and working through the fears or the illusions of fears that are holding me back on wanting to really put my work in the world she has me like charged up and I thank her for it um the next section are the 12 critical skills of self-care plus power reads and these critical skills are things that kind of similar from the concepts these are skills of things that you kind of need to be able to do inside of yourself to like surf the wave of daily self-care day after day month after month year after year decade after decade you know this lifestyle of being the one who is responsible for taking care of you and giving you the life you fucking deserve okay your inner authority to make it happen these are the skills as i see it and again i reiterate that i am discovering this process like day to day but after seven and a half years i got 12 of them and here's what here's what i recommend here's a couple Ooh, yeah good one um, this first one, I'm going to show you this page, number 26, um, the skill of listening to self and the book, Believing Me by Ingrid Clayton. <sighs> when you have spent a life being invalidated by other people, especially people that you trust or look up to, like your parents when you're little, um, validating your inner voice 
the one that is communicating to you what you need. You know, like if you struggle to even know what you need or how you feel, I cannot recommend this book enough. As far as like processing through how a person ends up in that situation, you know, it's not a fucking accident. And I give you a big hug for everything that you went through that cut you off from being able to hear yourself. And so that book, I feel like it was really healing for me to kind of validate validate my inner voice and the voice that says I want this I need this and then the inner parent or the inner tormentor or whatever that's like shutting that down like you don't need that you don't like we invalidate ourselves but not by accident because that's how we were taught and we can reteach ourselves you know like we can reprogram our foundation to be whatever we want it to be in that book I highly recommend um And then again, same thing, like the skill of feeling what's true for you, Um, listening to yourself, you're likely to hear the real you, like your authentic you, and you are likely to hear your programming. Okay, like the voices from your childhood, the voices of your parent, they told you over and over and over again. And like now that voice is like in here, part of your programming. And then feeling what's true for you amidst the voices that you can hear. Again, this is a whole nother skill. Like to even be able to hear what's in there, that's skill number one. And then being able to sort what's in there between what's true and what's not true. That's a whole nother skill. And for this, you will find no better no, no better book, in my opinion, than The Way of Integrity by Martha Beck. Oh my freaking God. I love how real she is. I love her voice. It's just so easy to, I have it on Audible, so I listen to it and she narrates it. Um, and I just, I loved it. So that one is, again, just a critical skill and a book that hopefully helps you get a little bit closer to that. And then also the soul sparks, and I'm actually going to just give you this page too, um, because like, you know, you won't have a link to the YouTube playlist unless you buy the book and you can get that link on the page, but you can pause the video and dude, take note of like every single one of these TED talks will make you feel better about yourself. Like that's the goal of these TED talks and the other soul stirring videos, like, again, the the power of each of these conversations to transform the way that you are thinking about what it is that you're doing, taking care of yourself, processing your emotions, alchemizing your pain into literal gold that you get to own. You know, this is what we can be doing in our self-care practice. And these videos, the TED Talks and the other videos, highly recommend. And last but not least, dude, you, you need exercises again, like the 10 interactive exercises are here to help you put the pieces together. And this is, this is the page that I am going to show you. Yes. Okay. So like I said, you know, every moment to moment to moment to moment, we feel different and therefore we need different care for ourselves. And so this exercise of when I'm feeling blank, when I'm feeling excited, my go-to self-care is what? You know, when you feel really excited, where do you go? What do you do? What do you do with that energy? Because every single emotion, every single one of these emotions on this list, that's energy coming into your system and it all has a different flavor and it's all going to want to be channeled in a different way. And so taking the time while you're clear minded in a quiet, peaceful place where you are loving yourself, taking the time to go through this list, again, pause the video and write it down and do the exercise for yourself. You don't need to buy the book for it. What is your go-to self-care when you feel these ways? And then when you feel strong emotion, come back to this list and you're like feeling so alone and it triggers in your mind, wait, alone was one of those that was on the list of what's my go-to self-care. Let me go refresh my, I don't even remember, what did I write down? And then you go look and it's like a connected conversation. Reach out, you know, like when you're lonely, when you're alone, reach out to someone, reach out to five someones, you know, like call on a lifeline, call, phone a friend, you know, like that's my go-to self-care when I feel alone. But like 
whatever, whatever your practice is, like when you're in a place of loving yourself and being in a high minded, like wanting to take care of the future you who will be so alone. It's like a road map for the the part of you that is in such strong emotion that you can't even think straight. You have it right here in the book to be able to go back to and reference. So let's see. There's the exercises I I had a lot of fun making those. And the last one is just, and I'm going to give you this page too, is a list of 10 soul stirring self-reflection questions to help get you thinking about, you know, what of the techniques and like I said, like possibly even beyond the list of 50 techniques, like what would truly help you to feel cared for? Um, so these would be great as far as like journaling on them. Or I might also recommend, um, like I have two ways on my phone where I can record, like one of them is just called smart recorder and like you press record and then you can talk and it'll just make an audio only recording file for you that you can save and listen back to or whatever. And it's just housed there on your phone unless you send it somewhere else. Um, so I say all of that because you might enjoy using each of these, like pretend I am sitting across from you and lovingly asking you each of these questions and then answer them on your smart recorder and you listen to your answers. Oh, that feels really, really fun. Okay. And then the last bit, as far as like, especially if you're going to be in the printed book, I really loved adding this section is your notes from the field. So this goes back through all 50 of the techniques that I shared and gives you like open space. So I'll show you like that same page I showed you from before, but this time it's like my my thought with this is that, you know, there are lots of ways that you could use this book, but one is that maybe, you know, for the year of 2024 or whenever you're finding this video, it's like every week I'm going to take the next item on the list. I'm just going to do them in order, not even going to make it more complicated than that, but like do this week, I'm going to have at least one experience with this item, or maybe I'm going to do this item every day for seven days and just see how it feels for me. Like, is this, you know, on that page I showed you before, like, is it medicine or is it poison? You know, depending on where you are, every single one of these techniques will either make you feel better or worse. And only you can know because only you know how you feel right in that very moment that you're going to try it. So if you try one of these techniques and it's making you feel worse than like, dude don't do it like that's what I would say but if you try the technique and like oh my gosh like I ordered myself a deck of cards and or I mean you can make your own like I have index cards where I bought a pack of like for two or three dollars a pack of blank index cards and then I write stuff on them like little inspirational quotes or whatever um, or little reminders when I am like in my highest mind and I love myself so much I'll write these little notes on these index cards and then I have a deck that's like this tall and I'll just grab a chunk of it and shuffle that and like pop out an index card so like money is not I mean you could make your own cards pretty Pretty easily for just a few dollars of an investment but these notes from the field of like you experimenting with these practices these different techniques and feeling inside yourself does it feel good to you when might this feel good to you you know like as far as filling out that exercise of like this would be perfect go-to self-care for when I'm feeling overwhelmed this helped me to really quiet my mind it helped me to like really soothe my body and like soothe my nervous system I should put this practice on the list for when I feel overwhelmed you know like this book hopes to help you build the system that is your bespoke self-care and no matter how you are feeling there is always a way to help yourself feel better let us see. Let us see. I do believe that that is the last section, but in the, yeah, I have some final thoughts there on the last page and some reminders of the other books that are available in the Etsy shop. And yeah, that is the ultimate guide to self-care. That is what is included. I down below in the description box in the pinned comment you'll find a link to the pdf version of the ultimate guide to self-care the ebook 
it's a little bit cheaper because it's just electronic the printed book has the price of like actually having to pay to get the book printed plus like i'm trying to <laughs> right like i'm trying to make a living over here as best i can while helping people and not gatekeeping this powerful information so i hope that you have got value even out of just the free preview pages that i have given you in this video i may do this again at some point and like show you other pages because seriously it's not about it is about the money I do have to survive but at the same time like these battling wills of like I want to help people I need to survive I want to help people I need to survive I want to help people I need to survive and like truly I want to help people that is the strongest motive that I have and that is why I give so much for free and I love that like my you know my higher self has channeled these creations so that there are also ways for people to you know reciprocate financially and help to support me during this time of like getting started of I am full-time doing this work I am full-time finding a place inside myself where I feel empowered and held and connected and helping as many people as possible to do the same you know like that is what I want my life to be that is what I want my full-time focus to be and with that I have also I don't know like when you're finding this if I'll still have open spots like offering individual sessions but for the month of January I have opened up my individual sessions where if you want to meet with me on zoom and we talk for an hour and see what we can do to dude like open up what like what wants to get opened up like i love doing an activation session and if you are wanting to book that i have them offered on saturdays and sundays um very limited availability you can book it through the link that's also in the description box and if you're really really wanting a session but you can't do it on saturday sunday you can also email me at owningauthenticity at gmail.com and we'll work it out you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking such good care of yourself. That's like seriously the best thing you can do to repay me is to take really good care of the beautiful one that you are, the precious one that you are. That's really the repayment that I want. And I hope this free sample of pages from the Ultimate Guide to Self-Care has helped you to do that in even just a little bit better way. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, you take really good care of yourself and so will I.